Today I'm going to talk about recovering pessimist. Um, you know, I don't just preach at you. I talk to you in ways of things that I have been facing in my long lifetime and that you face in your lifetime. We have to be a recovering pessimist. We have to realize that, yeah, because we're human and live in human mind, we've all been pessimists at various times, at various stages, with whatever we're facing. Well, I pray that you have a new power in you where you are no longer a pessimist. The evidence of God is everywhere. It is, I watched an eclipse last night that uh, just was beyond awe-inspiring. Have you ever watched the sunrise cast its rosy glow on a leaf and on a tree? I ask you sometime to to go somewhere where you can, where you see the sunrise come up and allow that to be your meditation time, just to allow the sun to, to unfold the leaf on a tree and meditate on that. And then meditate on the city streets, changing the drab and the grayness of night into the brightness and the beauty, so does the light of God cast its glow on your life and on mine. Darkness of thought is changed by the clear shining of this inner light. Your inner world and your outer world are touched and glorified by its glow made beautiful by God's shining. You do not cause the light of God to shine in you any more than you cause the sun to dispel the night's darkness. You just enjoy it because it happens continuously. It happens in a way that can be counted upon. The light is within you right now. And the light is within you right now, eternally shining. The true light, which lighteth every man and every woman that cometh into the world, is shining in you right now, eliminating pessimism. It is illuminating your mind and every aspect of your mind. It is vitalizing the cells of your body. You walk in light, you live in light, and you grow in this light. Isaiah 60 verse 1 says, Arise, shine. For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Now that's my prayer for you this day. I pray that you realize that you're part of this light, and that you can never be separate from it.